Hey guys, what's up? It's Intuition Angel here, getting ready to read for the sign of Pisces right now, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Keep in mind, these are just general readings that may or may not resonate for all Pisces out there. Check your birth chart if it does not resonate. Hit that like button down there for me, please, and thank you if it does. You guys can also contact me for personal readings in the description box below with my email down there. Um, I think that's all the announcements I have for right now. Let's get into the energy of Pisces right now for February 16th. 2021 i have a cat calendar here and it's really drawing my attention um <clears throat> it comes with a quote it says every household should contain a cat not only for decorative and domestic values but because the cat is in wow i never seen that word before it's in q u i e s c e n c e is medical to irritable tense tortured men and women okay so basically what it's trying to say is that you know cats can make you cats can really make the energy healthier cats are very intuitive I don't know why I was drawn to that quote but I feel like a lot of you may have a cat pay attention to your cat and how they move around this time I feel like they're healing too like, like they, if some of you um, are sick your cat can heal you some of you have like a healing cat around you. All right, Pisces, okay. We have perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to, okay? What else for Pisces? Sun rising and Venus sign. For Pisces, okay. Acceptance. I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change. All right. So it feels like um, someone is leaving something behind here. Someone's persevering and moving forward. We have um, heavy crown chakra is what I'm getting here. Um, knowing, a deep knowing, a knowing that no one else knows. Okay. Gifts, spiritual gifts. What else for Pisces? Okay. Forgiveness. All right. So whoever you're moving on from wants you to forgive them. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. I feel like, um, you forgave this person that you were dealing with Pisces, or this could be reversed. Take it how it resonates. Um, without them even apologizing. You accepted something and you moved on and you realized that you have to forgive them even if they're not sorry, okay? One more for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you. Adversity, okay? I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. So I feel like whatever this person was doing or people, adversity gives me like people, not just people a person but it's like a challenge here um accepting a challenge i feel like someone was accepting a challenge here you accepted this person in your life and i feel like you knew that you were going to um have some sort of life lesson with this person and you just accept it as a lesson clarify perseverance for pisces Okay, trickery and service. All right. Okay. So I'm getting a vibe of someone here trying to trick someone into making a decision. Trying to trick someone with the fact that maybe they're sick. Oh, come take care of me. I'm sick type of vibe. Or I just don't feel good. Can you do this for me type of vibe. I feel like this person is a trickster, whoever this person is. Okay. Okay could be someone in your energy could be someone in your person's energy it could be your person it could be you doing it but uh put yourself where you belong in the story i feel like there is some sort of like mind games going on here yeah we have joy here i feel like someone witnesses your joy and they want to like steer you off of your path yeah i'm getting this vibe with the service card here that it could be someone older than you maybe an elderly person who maybe they put stumbling blocks in your way Someone is trying to put stumbling blocks in your way, Pisces. I don't know who I'm reading for. Let's keep going. Why is acceptance here for Pisces? Soulmate. Yep. Okay, so someone could be trying to get in the way of someone's soulmate. Yep. I see it. Someone sees that someone wants to come towards somebody here. Someone accepts that you're their soulmate. That's for sure. But I feel like they have someone in their way that doesn't want to see them come together with you, Pisces. I feel like you've let this person go, though. Clarify forgiveness for Pisces. Okay, so we have mysticism. 
There could have been some dark magic here. I'm feeling someone say they're sorry, but they're not sorry. Recovery. I feel like someone likes to heal situations by saying, hey, I'm sorry, and then they, you know, think everything is okay. Um, but it's like black magic. It's like they they know that their sorry can heal things, but it doesn't necessarily mean that they'll change. Is what I'm getting here. It's weird. This is a weird energy. Clarify adversity for Pisces. Okay. Discovery. Self-discovery. A spiritual journey. Creation. Okay. So I feel like you know about this person already. And you're trying to like steer clear of this person. Someone is like really trying to get in the way. Okay. So if your person is dealing with someone here, um, this person knows that this third party knows that this person wants to come to you. So they try to draw them in with some sort of like emotional, I'm hearing like crying. You know, they want the forgiveness. They want forgiveness from your person. But it's trickery. It's simply like something that, oh, you know, with the service card here, it's like, oh, well, I can't do this by myself. Or, you know, I'm like this because of this or... I had to do a lot of things when I was a child. I had to take care of my parents when I was a child. It's like, it's a sob story. Someone is like doing a sob story here because they see someone moving on. And the person that's moving on wants to move on to their soulmate. So let's see. I got these fountain deck. I got the fountain deck here. What's going on for Pisces? Go ahead and like this for me down there, please. And thank you. Hit that thumbs up. So everyone can see this message for Pisces. What's going on? For Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What's going on with Pisces? Okay. A card fell out. We have the Three of Cups. Third party energy reconciliation also. Um, I feel like a lot of you are partying or hanging out with friends here. Um, some sort of reunion. We have the Chariot card. Cancer energy. The Ace of Coins. The King of Cups. The World. And the Four of Coins. Okay. So I feel like um, you're moving on. You're definitely persevering. A lot of you could have maybe have came into a new job or something like that someone has feelings for you but they're covering up their feelings it's like they're looking the other way and they're trying to hide their feelings for you yeah that's what i'm getting um but at the same time they can't let you go so let's clarify clarify the three of cups please for pisces three of cups for pisces thank you all right so we have the eight of pentacles here for you guys Okay, so Pisces, I feel like you're in the energy of focusing on work, putting the effort into something. Okay, someone wants to sabotage a reunion. That's what I'm getting. I'm really getting that heavy. I feel like someone really wants to come towards you. Um, they're trying to make the effort to do so, and someone knows that about your person. They're going to try to create difficulties, try to get in the way of this new uh, offer here. But I feel like this person is trying to, they're trying to plan here. Maybe they're trying to plan quietly and try to keep the information away from the third party here. I feel like they're not paying attention to the third party. They're more paying attention to their work. Clarify the chariot, please, for Pisces. That's a chariot here for Pisces. Okay, so we have the strength card. Leo energy, could be dealing with the Leo? We have the seven of wands here. Yeah, someone's fighting. They're taking a lot of courage. They're doing a lot of, they're, okay, I'm hearing self-discipline. It's like they realize that they have to overcome, have the courage to do something here in order to come forward to you. I'm hearing something about maybe like jumping in their car, you know, having the courage to just jump in their car and move towards you. I really feel like you guys could be dealing with a Leo or a water sign. Um, heavy strength, like heavy, heavy, heavy strength in this uh, reading right now for you, Pisces. So I feel like this person is like really trying to work hard to move on from things that no longer serve them. Clarify the Ace of Coins, please, for Pisces. Ace of Coins for Pisces. Okay. 
Yeah, we have the Ace of Swords here. A new idea, clarity, truth. I'm getting like a lot of abundance for you guys too. It's like this person, yeah, the Knight of Swords here. So I feel like uh, someone is kind of mad. Someone is rushing in. They got to tell you a truth here. It's like some sort of like an offer for you guys, Pisces, but it's like getting in the way of everything. It's getting in the way of, of this third party and what they want from your person. That's what I'm getting. Clarify the King of Cups, please, for Pisces. King of Cups for Pisces. Yeah. Okay, so we have the Six of Wands. So this person is going to be very successful with whatever they're planning on doing here. Um, they're doing it in the name of love is what I'm getting. Um, I feel like this person sees victory and success with you. We have the Eight of Swords here. I feel like this person is going to end up... They can't stop thinking about you. They can't stop thinking about the success that they can have with you here, Pisces. And I feel like they're going to end up closing the cycle of holding back from you. So whoever you're thinking about, you know, that's what I'm getting. Let me stop for a minute and clarify this Ace of Swords again for Pisces. What's the Ace of Swords here for Pisces? Okay. Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles here. So... All right, and the King of Swords. So I feel like this person's all in their head because you're very financially stable. You're a mother energy. They see you as someone very grounded. And they're going to end up cutting out this third party is what I'm getting. It could be an earth sign. Clarify strength, please, for Pisces. Why strength here for Pisces? All right, yeah, the Ace of Pentacles once again. So a new opportunity coming in. It's like I feel like someone's bracing themselves for a new start. And I feel like that could be you. I feel like a lot of you could have started your own business or something like that. Tell me more about the Eight of Pentacles for Pisces. Eight of Pentacles for Pisces. It's like you're really determined. Yeah, the Ten of Swords. Okay. So your person is ending a situation with a third party here is what I'm getting for sure. There's no doubt about that. They're putting to rest a marriage or some sort of like household connection for you. Tell me about the Six of Wands for Pisces. Six of Wands for Pisces, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Yeah, the Three of Cups. Yep. So they're going to reconcile with you. They see this as a, um, a victory and success. They're trying to get your attention. They want to take you out for drinks. They want to uh, collaborate, party with you. I feel like they're kind of hiding it though, but it's like their emotions, they can't really hide their emotions and how they feel for you. It's like, it's like they're really trying to get their attention, your attention. Clarify the world please for Pisces. Why is the world here for Pisces? Okay. Yeah, we have the, all right, so we have the Queen of Swords. I feel like you cut this person out. You definitely ended the situation. You have a lot of strength. I'm also hearing that you're not going to deal with this person if they continue to deal with this Queen of Pentacles here. Yeah, we have the Seven of Swords. Like, you cut this person out because you simply don't trust them here. Yeah. Yep, there could have been some sort of sabotage energy here. And, like, you just... Yeah, Ten of Cups. You cut this person out for your own happiness. Some sort of clarity came out about the whole situation. You just ended it and... Right after you ended it, you got some sort of like new abundance coming in, or you will. I'm getting an energy of someone trying to control their finances or save their money. Clarify the four of coins, please, for Pisces. Yeah, that's a seven of swords here. It's like, okay, being sneaky, keeping your um, abundance under wraps. Don't talk so much about your abundance. I feel like that's what you're doing. I feel like someone is trying to sabotage someone's abundance. Clarify the Queen of Swords, please, for Pisces. Queen of Swords for Pisces. Queen of Swords for Pisces. I feel like you're not paying attention to this person. Yeah, we have the Knight of Pentacles here. There was an offer that stopped here, right? They can't even, you're not even facing this person. But I really feel like they're, they're really trying to work hard to get away from a third party here. So that they can reconcile with you. 
I feel like this person feels betrayed by you because you're not talking to them or you're not paying them any attention. You're a lot, you're very focused on your pentacles. Tell me more about the seven of swords for Pisces. Yep, the nine of swords. Someone is stressed. Okay, the five of cups. Yep. All right, so what this person is keeping from you, Pisces, is the fact that they have a lot of anxiety about your guys' connection here. Um, they have to be sneaky with their money. Why? I'm not sure. Let me clarify. Tell me about the seven of swords for Pisces. All right, the world card. Someone is really stressed about stressed about an ending that's going to happen very soon. Yeah, the death card here. It's going to change you. It's going to change the entire connection. But I'm I'm seeing third parties, so I feel like the third party could be stressed about the connection ending between you between them and their person, and your person, because some truth came out. I feel like they see you as the abundance here, so. I feel like you're, all of this has happened, but you're not really paying attention to them, Pisces. What's going on with Pisces? What's going on with Pisces right now? Someone raising a Venus sign. All right, prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Taurus. Yep, I see a lot of money in your guys' future. A new start is coming. Yep, that's what I see here. Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. Prosperity lies ahead. A new start is coming. Um, a lot of clarity, too, for you guys. Let me get one more card for Pisces. Yep, your commitment is being tested. Let me get one more. Whatever commitment that spirit is talking about, they've already blessed you with something. You're definitely getting a blessing, Pisces. All right, what else? I feel like someone could be trying to, yeah, what do you need to release? Someone could be trying to end it. Oh, okay, so you're really focused and someone's trying to end you being focused is what I'm getting here. I don't know if it could be your person or it could be a third party here trying to mess with your yeah your commitment is being tested what do you need to release a new start is coming and prosperity lies ahead the energy is gaining momentum waxing moon so i feel like this person knows this person has a lot of um anxiety when it comes to you moving forward and you need to release them pisces because your new start is coming and there's no room for them um your commitment is being tested with your work with your studies spirit is watching you be focused um, they're watching you release. When you release something, that's like spirit saying, okay, you know, they're learning their lesson here and we're going to give them something that they deserve. And you're going to end up getting this prosperity, Pisces. I hope you guys claim this reading. I hope this reading resonates for you guys. If it did, go ahead and like, subscribe, share to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. I'll see you guys next week. Thanks. Namaste. Bye.